Stand by for countdown. Zero minus ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero. miles above our Earth exists what is known as the flame barrier. Above that barrier lies the unknown, the unexplored, the area into which on March 17th the X-117 Earth satellite was successfully launched. But nine days into its orbit it unexpectedly lost its gravitational force and was assumed to have disintegrated as it hit the flame barrier. Six months later, on September 15th, a plane touched down on the runway in Campeche in the southern part of Mexico. One of its passengers was a Mrs. Howard Dahlman. She had come to Campeche on a mission, the mission to find her husband who had disappeared into the surrounding jungle about the same time the satellite had fallen from the skies. ¿Dónde está el señor Hollister? Ahora. ¿Quién sabe, señora? Conoce. Uh, uh, usted, ¿dónde, señor Dave Hollister? ¿Vive? Sí, sí conozco. Pásale, señora. Vamos. Oh, vámonos, por favor. Ándele. You lose again, señor. Now, double him up. Pay now. Oh, come on, Julio. Where's your sport in nature? Pay now. Then we talk about sports and about the moon if you want. But pay now. Julio, that's the trouble with the world. No sporting nature. Even my one true loyal friend. Next to you, Doc. It's cash on the line. Well, I got news for you, Julio. No mass. No more cash money. It's all gone. Kaput! <laughs> yeah. Hey, mm -hmm. Here, Donnie, senor. Yeah. Donde esta, senor Hello? Hollister? Hello. I'm looking for Dave Hollister. I was told he lives in this hotel. Well, your information is entirely accurate, madam, but you're looking for the wrong party. Now, I'm, I'm Matt, his brother, and I'm much more charming. <laughs> no comparison. Now, satisfied customers will over agree unanimously. Come on, stop. Stop. Well, I, I was told to talk to your brother. Here, Julio, get a lady a beer. What's the matter with you? No, thank you. Oh, no, is that friendly? I want to talk to your brother, Mr. Hollister. Oh, it's, it's Matt. It's about hiring a search party. Ah, uh -huh. somebody lost? My husband. Sorry, I... Uh... I, uh, I was told that your brother and you had done some oil surveying south of here in the Pay Ten Territory, and that you could help me. Well, you came to the right place, Miss... Mrs... Uh, Dalman. Dalman. It's the wrong time of the year. Rain! <laughs> Nothing but rain from here on out. My personal plan to go into dry dock for the rest of the year. Within reason, of course. I have money. Good for you. I'd appreciate it if you directed to your brother, Mr. Oh, now, don't go in mad now. Please. Well, if that's what you want. Presto, Brother Pierce. Your wish is my desire. Why don't you go get some breakfast, huh? It's too early. Give him some coffee, Julio. Now, look here, big brother. Just coffee. I saw Sanders. So? He wants the equipment and, and me only. What do you think? 
Well, uh... I think, okay. He wants the equipment, and you own me. Mr. Dalvin, you're seeing the dissolute... the disillusionment of a corporation. Mr. Hollister, my name is Carol Dolman. I was referred to you by the government. They said you might be able to help me find my husband. Your husband? Yes, he took a party south about four months ago into the Pay Ten territory. Well, I wish we could help you, Mrs. Dolman. Well, I, I told your brother I, I have money. I could pay you very well. Oh, I'm sorry, but you see, the rainy season starts in a few weeks. No one will go into that area now. It's completely out of the question till fall. <sighs> fall is too long to wait. I'm afraid you'll have to, Mrs. Dolman. Excuse me, please. Mr. Hollister, I've come a long way. At least you can pay me the courtesy of talking to me. Of course. I, I didn't mean to be impolite. Won't you come in? Welcome to Hollister Mansion. Not much, but we call it home. Excuse the cockroaches. Fortunately, they don't bite. Everything else does. Well, what's on your mind, Mrs. Dalman? I told you, my husband. Look, Mrs. Dalman, I tried to explain. I wish we could help you, but we can't. There's just too much danger at this time of year. What's your price, Mr. Hollister? Maybe you'll change your mind. What's your price? Let's be practical, Mrs. Dolman. Don't I make myself clear? My life is valuable. Not to me, at least. Well, it's my life I'm talking about, too. I'd go with you. I'm willing to take that risk, anything to find him. Well, good. You go right ahead, but not with us. You talk vaguely about your husband being lost in the Pay Ten territory. You have even the faintest idea what that is? Nothing but 200 miles of dense jungle. It's tough enough when you know where you're going. I have a copy of the route my husband was going to follow. Well, what is this? A fix on the satellite explosion. Satellite? Oh, my husband owns the Dalman Chemical Company. You may have heard of it. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed, I've heard of it. Science has always been a hobby with him. When the Earth satellite went down, he'd been tracking it with his own instruments. But he disagreed with the popular opinion that it had burned up in the Earth's atmosphere. In fact, he thought he knew exactly where it would have crashed, but he couldn't get anyone in the government to, to agree with him. So he financed his own expedition. And just took off into the jungle like that, huh? He had a theory about it being some kind of life in outer space. It meant a great deal to him to prove it. But you'd have to know him to understand. There's always something he was trying to find. Hmm, I see. I'll pay you 5,000 each, plus expenses. Sorry, Mrs. Dorman. No sale. 7,000. You double it, and I may think about it. But I doubt it. But I can't go any higher. I thought finding your husband was all that mattered to you, Mrs. Dolman. It is, but I can't pay you any more. I... I don't have it. You don't have it? The wife of the owner of the Dolman Chemical Company? What's the corporation worth, Mrs. Dolman? Five million? Well, at least now you're making sense. What do you mean? It occurs to me that it isn't your love for your husband we've been talking about. It occurs to me that it's his money. And you don't get any of it until he's proven legally dead. How does that sound? You let go of me. Let go! Sure. It matters very little. What you think of me or my motors, Mr. Hollister. I want to find my husband alive, and that's all I care about. Okay. 7,000 if we find him alive. 
10% of the estate if he's dead. You do have your price, don't you, Mr. Hollister? Mm-hmm. You got a match? Change some plans. We leave in the morning. Morning will be fine. Corporal Hollister reporting for active duty, sir. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Well, what does it look like I'm doing? I'm preparing to risk life and limb to save your poor mad Ophelia. Vamanos. Gracias. Or not. Come on, come on, get her out of there. Oh, come on, now, aren't we gonna... It's a long trip. We need some supplies. Sorry, Chiquita, no room. No hay lugar. Okay, que pasa? No hay lugar. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, baby doll, but... Gotta make a choice. It's either you or tequila. Well, good morning. Good morning. I hope you brought along some pants, Mrs. Dalman. I beg your pardon. Your legs are going to need protection in the brush. Uh, Vinga. Adios, amigo. Adios. Hi. Well, hello. Very nice. Thank you. In there, please. Muchas gracias, senor. Oh, you can only take one small bag, Mrs. Dow. We haven't got any more room. I only brought what I really need. Look, let's get something straight, shall we? I say we need food, water, and medicine a whole lot more than you need a fancy wardrobe. And what I say goes from here on out. All right? All right. With the ammo boxes and rifles. Oh, yes, sir. Will he be like that the whole trip? Oh, no. He gets worse. Take the shovel. Dig us out. Better get us some wood. What? Some branches. Here's your branch. 
Okay, better step back. Shove it in there. Okay, give it a try. You. Oh, nothing at all. Sorry about the blouse. It's all right. It'll wash out. Oh, here, here. Take this one. No, I can't let you use the boiled water. You wash it out when we get to camp. Thank you very much. I think I'll see how our lady is doing. Leave her alone, will you? Oh, come on now. Look, I'm harmless. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Now, look, a guy's got to try. Yeah, but not so often. It's not hurting you, is it? I don't know. Yeah. Gotta get you some coffee. No, no, I'm all right. But, but he's impossible. Well, like I say, he takes getting used to. I don't think we'll be gone that long. Good night, Carol. Oh, Mrs. Diamond. Sleep tight. Stop him. Wait, you'll see in a minute. What do they want? Nothing. A cockerel tribe. They won't hurt us. You stay here. Usually give them tobacco, that sort of thing. You come this way to fool? Yeah. There's an Indian village a little further in. So we pick up the bears and leave the truck. Leave it? Why? No roads. Compete, Eileen. Kintan Binel Peyton. Mama could chuck to low. Mama la ba shakin. Something's up. They're on the move. Yeah? Yeah, they're scared. They say the animals are beginning to scatter. Inka tumen pash. Mama la ba shakin. Mm. He says that something has happened deep in the jungle that's made the gods angry. We can't go any further. What is it? The animals are dying without reason. What does that mean? Well, probably they've had a bad hunting year and they have to give it some superstitious reason. Come on, get in. Hey, what's for dinner? Filet mignon? Ah, I think it's so crude, my friend. 
Jungle surprise on the glass. <laughs> Anything would taste good. <laughs> Hey, hey. That leg. Just what do you think you're doing? This teacher, Marla, is, is all over your leg. It'll be covered by a rash in the morning. No. Unless you scrub it off right away. He's right. Oh. You don't have any choice, Mrs. Dahlman. Better hurry up. Mrs. Dahlman. Give me the pan, Matt. Your bucket, madam. Oh, precious wild animals. Then it's tarantulas. Then snakes and insects. No, it's rations. And is there anything else unpleasant in this jungle? I hope I don't see it. I don't know how you can be so sure it's cheesham oil on my leg. It could be something else entirely different. Something perfectly harmless. Yep. Maybe it is. But then, on the other hand, maybe it isn't. But if it isn't, by tomorrow morning you won't be able to walk, and we certainly can't carry you. I don't expect you to carry me. What I really object to is your attitude, the way you do things. Some people know how to give orders, and some people don't. You'll pardon me for saying so, you don't. Well, understand now, I'm not complaining. I knew when I started out on this expedition that you weren't going to be any Sir Galahad. I'm not referring to social graces. Just hey, look at that. Being civilized, not acting like a jungle animal yourself. Do you hear me, Mr. Hollister? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I heard you. I think you better hurry up and finish your bath and get to bed because we've got a long day's travel tomorrow. You know, that thing never stood a chance. Oh, I know. Should have talked her to death. to the village. It's not far. Come back to the equipment. I stand. I stand. Where is everybody? I don't know. It's odd. There's usually quite a group here to meet us. Matt, check that hut. Anyone in there? Nobody. No one in there either. It's like they took off in a hurry. Hmm. Fire is cold. Well, at least we didn't frighten them away. We may as well head back, Mrs. Dorman. What are you talking about? Well, if we can't get bearers, we can't go on. The car can't travel beyond this point. You saw that yourself. But we can't go back, not now. I'd say our stake in this was equal with yours, but we have no choice. That's all you think about, isn't it? The money. Bashakati, Waka, Mea Hey. Bash? Hey, Salwiniha. He says we're to go with them. Why? He says the gods have sent us to help them. What do you think? I don't know. Let's find out. Comita. Anga. Matt. Hey, we need Kayung. 
नशीब का ही लोग चिंता हो चाकाती हो कौन he says this man is their leader he's been condemned by the village to die but he's innocent they can't touch him as long as he hangs there because they'd be destroyed by the guards if they did how terrible he's been here quite a while hey look at this oh honey they wanted to make sure kahi log kim sahab hai we ni kayum come on let's get him back to camp i got what up Tenkin wantan yakobe pashtan pash ink tame ne tana kastal pash yen ten kim sik etana he'll be all right hopes so now we've got our bears if we want them they even seem anxious to go deeper into the jungle it'll be rough but we can make it if we each carry a heavy pack well they give it a reason for that string up job no no he says he's innocent Look, why shouldn't we believe them well there's some fanatic cults in this part of the country some of them don't treat the white man too kindly Say, uh, he mentioned a, a large party that went through his village about four months ago. Was your husband dark-haired? Yes. Shambi lobe pash. B. They'll be ready to go at sunup. personal opinion I think you're doing just fine Carol what's the matter nothing she's tired what are you trying to do run a marathon I'm trying to beat the rain I said I'm all right now we'll make camp not yet still an hour more of sun do you mind if I make a decision once around here there's only one person making decisions and that's me and that's the way it's always been isn't Matt. it you want an honest answer yes look I said I'm rested Kanesh Kanesh Bunga Kanesh Oh no, Matt, you can't carry them both. Just watch me. Come on, come on. Kuchak Taylor. Bakuchak. Paschayash. Kanesh. 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 What was it? I don't know. Quinique Tanchin. Oh, Quinique. Yeah, Boshe. Oh, Quinique. They'll make camp in the first clearing. Chief. Yashe. Ma. 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 Chief. Ma. I know it's hard and I don't know what to do. I don't feel anything. I ought to cry, I ought to do something, but I didn't think it would be this way. Carol, this is a strange sort of question I I know but Is this trip kind of self punishment for you? Yes, I I guess it is. It's not your husband, Mrs. Dolman. It's a native. That for sure. Looks like he was burned to death. Are those tears of disappointment?
Why don't you lay off? Aren't you getting a little touchy? You owe her an apology and you know it. Okay. Mrs. Darman. Mrs. Darman, I, uh... I'm sorry if I upset you. You didn't. You see, I've, uh... I've lived down here a long time, and... Well, your, your point of view gets changed, I guess. It becomes more realistic. I don't think it's so bad to be realistic. And I don't think I have been. Do you... Do you love your husband? I don't know. Maybe that's what I've been trying to find out. Our lives have always been so separate. He was always obsessed by his business and... and I... Well, I had his money. So I did what I pleased. More or less. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. Can you? I had a wife, Mrs. Dalman, once. Only she had all the money. And she did as she pleased, too. Maybe you never gave her a chance. Did you ever think of that? Yeah. I thought about it. Good night, Donna. I don't know. No, no, no. no. Hey, Tana! Makuzi, Tana! It's higher ground. Uh, yes, you're right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, we've got to get him back. Mac, take one boy. Head him off that way. All right. Come on. Connect. Bobby, connect. Well, don't leave me. Here, stay here. You'll be all right. Annette! Poisonous snake right alongside it. Don't look around. Don't move. Now listen to me very carefully. Can you slide me the rifle with the toe of your boot? I don't know. I'll try. All 
All right. Do it very carefully. Slide the gun down to the ground. And then start pushing it along. Slowly. That's it. That's it. That's it. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. That's the way. One bite from that fellow and you're, you're dead in five minutes. What happened? Take a look. Any sign of the boy? No, it's no use. Well, we've got to make camp before this storm hits. Then we've got some decisions to make. Oh, about what? Turning back? Ma! Cornish! Hey. What do you mean? We'll talk about it later. Well, let's talk about it now. We haven't got time. Well, let's make time. All right. Losing the boys and the supplies he had reduces our odds too much. We're still a week's travel from the camp, if there is a camp. I don't want to be stuck out in the middle of nowhere with the rain starting and no food. Well, you knew that when you began. It was a calculated risk. It was a calculated risk, with the proper supplies and help, but not this way. Well, I don't believe it's the supplies. I, I think it's something else. All right. Let me put it this way. There's something very wrong here. I know the jungle. You don't. Every sign tells us to turn back. Well, now you're acting like you believe in superstitions. Maybe I am. I also happen to have a sense of danger. Which, with your cafe society background, I doubt that you understand. Now, hurry up, will you? We've got to make camp. Come on, Cornish! All right. What's the matter with him? He's right, you know. Outside and check the boys. Oh. <clears throat> what day? Is it? Oh, I don't know. Smoke? No, no, thank you. <coughs> Carol? Mm. You're a great girl. You know that? You've taken an awful beating. Uh, no. No, Matt. What are you doing out here? Trying to find some small corner of the world that isn't inhabited by Hollister Brothers Incorporated, mainly. Are we that bad? I wouldn't know anymore. I have very little to go by as far as the rest of the world is concerned. Well, don't catch cold. Must you always order me around? Must you always order everybody around? I beg your pardon. Well, we aren't slaves, you know. No wonder your wife walked out on you. Now, that was downright unkind, ma'am. Well, it's true. <coughs> Here. Like I said, don't catch cold.
Touch the wound, I'll die too. Ma, then keep us there. Itara, Itara, Itara. Did your husband ever work with acids, do you know? Well, I don't know why. Because I can't imagine what would make a body deteriorate that way. Tiske kantike milo. Bay, bay. Well, the other Indian's gone. Omi says he couldn't stop him. Oh, well, that settles it. We're going home. I agree with you, Dave. It's, it's senseless to go on. Or maybe that guy died of some disease. Maybe it was something else, but I'd rather not find out. Matt, we've got a job to finish. Oh, now, look, now, Carol's no fool. She's asking us to risk our necks to a point. Am I wrong? Now, maybe we don't find out about your husband right now. It's, it's rough, and I'm sorry, but I'd like to find out about him, too. Do you want to go on? Do you? I do now. Hey, why the sudden switch? Because it's my decision. Your decision? Oh, I see. Did you forget she was a married woman, bud? <laughs> I'm sorry. not knowing the truth about oh so many things i'd like to know the truth about us what about us where we stand i haven't got clue one where we stand that's what i mean Thank you. 
shouldn't be this far north. Come on. to leave. I can't say I plan him. I'm afraid. I know. Checking our position again. Oh, here, Carol. Well, put this under the strap. It'll feel better. Uh, here. Here. Let me put it here. All right. We'll head west. Satellite were burning when it fell. It could have done this. Let's see here. Yeah, look at that. Right on the button. Your husband's quite a mathematician, it seems. Matt, you search on that side. We'll search on this. Friendly enough. Ah, my fella. But Carol, there was a, uh, a chimp inside the satellite, wasn't there? Yes, but why is he alone? I don't know. Matt, take a look around outside. Go check the other tent. Stay close. What a setup. Here, take the monk. Hmm? Take the monk. 
look. Well, what do you know? Well, now, how can that be? A light. Hey, Dave, come take a look. Yeah, give me the bunker. Mm. Ah, come on. One. Come on. Ah, that's a boy. What do you know? Uh, what is it? Well, it's a, it's a solar battery. This doesn't make sense. This, this equipment is too valuable to leave around without a guard. Oh, I mean, excuse me, besides you. Good thing he's starving. I don't understand it. Same thing? Mm. This tape has all been used, but I can only pick up a few words. <laughs> Maybe it's uh, mildew. No, the tape is all right. It's something else. Sounds like... Sounds like electrical interference. That's impossible. We're too far from civilization. What did you find? Uh, uh, nothing but formulas. And I flunked science, remember? Oh, we're getting nowhere like this. Might as well turn in. We'll start looking for your husband in the morning. Do you really think there's still hope? In view of what's happened, the unused supplies out there, I say no. Well, we'll, uh, we'll start back in the morning. There's no point risking your lives any further out. I really appreciate what you've done. Carol, don't you want legal proof? If you think Howard is dead, that's all the proof I want. Look, we've come this far. If it's possible to find out positively what happened, we should. We owe it to ourselves. Come on. You got a light? And so come late, Yab. He says it's his brother's. It's burned like the other one. Yes. Fail. Oh, cool, Lieutenant. And so come Taylor. Oh, cool now. He says he came in here ahead to find his brother. We must follow him to Etana's cave to help him. His brother is dead. Where is the cave? Your hall, we call Etana. Pashka. Just south of the camp. You come with us. Yeah. Your whole Lieutenant Taylor. All right, this is it. Carol, you stay between us. All right. Holy chuck. In Sokum Kachili, Lachikob, Winnie Cobb, in Sokum Yom Kimi, Itana Castel Taylor. Oh, he says Itana lives in this cave. Binan Tun Kim Sikitana. Ma, 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 Ma. Wami! What'd you say to him? I said we go find Itana. Come on. Carol? 
Yes. You all right? Yes. Hey, Matt, come here. How is she? Resting. She'll be all right. We packed in about half hour. Listen to this, will you? Probability. Still hopeless, huh? No. Probability field increases proportionate mass. What does it mean? It means that Dolman was right. There is life in outer space. That's what that stuff is growing out of the satellite. Only one thing he didn't realize, that it generates its own protective field, which is growing too. Is that how the chimp got burned? Yeah. Now, on another tape, he says that those living cells double during some kind of time cycle. Double? Yeah. This means that the growth doubles, so does the field around it, which destroys everything within its range. Yeah, but why didn't this electrical field destroy Dalman when he came close to it? That's what scares me, Matt. It wasn't there then. Obviously, Dalman guessed what was going to happen, tried to stop it, got caught in the stuff, and became a part of it. Now it's a hundred times stronger. We better get some help. That's what I'm trying to tell you. We can't leave. Supposing that stuff doubles once, just once, every 24 hours. The electrical field will be at this camp in a couple of days. If we leave now... Look. This is approximately where we'll be when the field overtakes us. You see, we haven't got a prayer unless we can figure out some way of killing it before it breaks out of the cave. Well, how? I don't know. Obviously, poor old Dalman didn't know either. There it goes again. Two hours. Now we know the cycle. Well, what's wrong? We... We think the electric field around the satellite is increasing. Increasing? What do you mean? Yes, we think it's doubling approximately every two hours. We've got to go up there again and check it. You stay here. Matt? Dave, I, I want to go with you. Now, you stay here. We'll be all right. It'll be easier without you. Stay here, please. behind me. We've got to feel our way. You stay here. Double the distance from where the chimp got it. Just about exactly. Look, it's a vein of metal ore. I want to take a look at that. Now follow me. Make a mark on the ground. Right. Be careful. Wow! Vein of metal ore. And there's another. Satellites sitting on top of the two of them. 
If we could get a connection into the one on top, with the solar battery, we could run a charge through it and electrocute it. Well, how far up do you think the electrical field goes? Let's find out. Be careful. Stay behind that line. Right. Here, hold this. Hey, maybe we're still in business. It's four feet clear at the top. Up there? It may be the only way. If we wait for this thing to double again, there may not be any way. This whole cave will explode, and that thing will be free. Matter to be up there with the solar battery by now. Well, here's the last of the wire. Thanks. What are the chances? Realistically? Realistically. Not good. Dave, you know, I'm not afraid anymore. I don't want us to die, but... Being with you, I've learned something, and oh, I wouldn't trade it. I'm just sorry it's so hopeless. Look, we'll make it. Will we? Oh, I wish I'd met you a long time ago. I'm glad you didn't. Well, I'm ready. Well, this time I'm going with you. All right. My job, Dave. Oh, sorry. I said I want to do it. Look, you flunk science, remember? That's why you take care of the solar battery. Right? Okay. Good. Now, when I get up there, you should have make the other connection. Whatever you do, don't let that wire sag into the field. It'll burn. Right. Now, wait a minute. Before you go, take a stick with you. I'll get one. Here. If we figured right, you've got eight minutes. That's four up and four down. If we figured right. Carol, hurry! Now keep checking as you go. When you reach that vein, hammer it in tight so the wire will hold. Here. Be careful and good luck. tells me Are you all right? 
Yeah, just great. up with a solar battery now. But don't worry because the juice will be off. Okay. minutes. Better start down. Okay, I'm coming. Matt, we must have figured it wrong. It's starting. Come on, get down. Just have to charge. Yes, but I can't fire it with you up there. It'll kill you. Get down. Get out of here. Matt, start down! Set the charge! I can't get down the target! No, not with you up there! You crazy fool! Scientists say that beyond the earth, a perfect vacuum exists. Poets say there is eternal night. Dreamers say there is life. Perhaps tomorrow, we shall know the answer. <laughs> 